That's right, you read the title correct. The longest awaited TTM return that I have had thus far, but it is the last one, so we will get to it eventually. However, first we must begin, unfortunately, with um, the failure. Uh, came back on September the 12th, and it was uh, to Peter Bondra. And I mentioned that to um, John Burgess, the autograph fisherman, and I said, oh, I was kind of bummed out, and he said, oh, I think he signs through, what was it, Past Pros, I believe it does, I was, that it was that John said, and then when I looked it up, and so, yes, Peter Bondra does run through Past Pros, and I think he was $15, if you want to do that, so that bears looking into, but it goes off to the side for now, because we get into the first of four successes. First off, football time, as always should be first. 60-day turnaround, one of one, for free, in uh, College Station, Texas. The address was on Sports Card Forum. And we have Jacob Green, the Seattle Seahawks defensive end, signed and personalized on the 88 tops. <coughs> Pardon me. And shout out Cash and Dad, because I guarantee you they know who this guy is, because he was one heck. One heck of a football player, really was. Uh, let's see. Drafted first round, 10th overall in 1980 out of Texas A&M. Played for the Seahawks. From 1980 to 91, had a one-year end of his career in 92 with the 49ers. Credited officially with 97 and a half sacks. However, you do have to remember that it wasn't until 1982 that the sack became an official NFL-recognized statistic. Uh, but teams would always keep track. So unofficially, he is rated or he is credited with 115 and a half sacks. So well in that. 100, the Elite 100 Sack Club, and was uh, inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame in 2019. So, Mr. Green, thank you very much, and what a great way to start it off. Next, the other football. This one's soccer. 64 days, one of one for free, care of FC Dallas in, the, uh, in MLS, Major League Soccer. We have Jesus Ferreira on the old uh, top, or not the old, but the new tops, uh, uh, MLS, really nice looking signature. I didn't really look at it closely, but that is really nice looking. And Mr. Ferreira actually ticks off another one of my uh, one of my boxes for getting an autograph from somebody from every country because he is a uh, Col Colombian born. Um, has played for FC Dallas since 2017, uh, 133 games thus far. Uh, with 46 goals played, I think it was 25 or so for the U.S. national team. And during the... This is how so, how limited I know of soccer. In 2023, in the CONCACAF, CONCA I don't know. It's one of those. It was in the knockout stage. The U.S. unfortunately didn't win. I think they lost to Panama. Uh, but he scored seven goals and was awarded the golden boot. So thank you very much, Mr. Ferreira. On to the third... Uh, which one was this? Ah, now we get to the first of two baseball. 59-day turnaround, one of one for free, care of the address in Raleigh, North Carolina. On the old Fleer, we've got Mike Caldwell. Man, that is like a 1980s baseball picture right there. Like, you wonder what he's yelling or about to yell. Chances are not very not very pleasant for, uh, for people to hear, but... Uh, 137 and 130 record with 3.81 ERA, 939 strikeouts. Uh, bounced around a little bit, but his longest stint was with the Brewers at the end of his career. Uh, played for San Diego from 71 to 73. San Francisco, 74 to 76. One year, or part of a year, with Cincinnati in 1977. Then went to Milwaukee and finished off his career there from 77 to 84 and an inductee into the Milwaukee Brewers Wall of Honor. Mr. Caldwell, thank you much. Any personalized that love that. And our final one. This is the big one. 2,000, and I'm not exaggerating, 2,648 days. And it's, and it's like, like it had to have been misplaced, which is literally seven years and three months to the day. Now, the address is a little skewed, but I will explain. It's one of one, for free. At the time, in 2016, when I sent that, he was the hitting coach for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, he is no longer the hitting coach for the Pirates. He left there in 2018 and is now, I think, the hitting coach for the Toledo Mud Hens. 
but we have Jeff Branson and the longest awaited return on the 93 Don Russ. And yeah, like I said, yeah, Toledo Mud Hens in AAA head coach. Uh, infielder with a 246 batting average, 34 home runs, 156 RBIs. You saw my little notepad there. Uh, played for the Reds from Cincinnati Reds, 92 to 97, Cleveland Indians, 97, 98. Finished off with the Dodgers, 2000, 2001. But the actually one of the big reasons I sent him in 1988, uh, he was part of the gold medal winning uh, U.S. baseball team at the Seoul uh, Olympics. So, gold medalist, Mr. Branson. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of my all of the people that took the time to return. Uh, cards to me, and and thank you to all of you for taking your time and uh, spending the past six minutes here watching me ramble on about all this stuff. So thank you much. Enjoy your Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow.